What's up, you guys? I'm Philly Sopical. This is my channel. All right. I love you guys. We're not going nowhere. So, I forgot to add that in that dream I also had, there was like three separate dreams, and they were just warning me about who was around me. So, remember in the other dream, in the dream that I had about my friend Michael, that was about this loser, uh, other loser, Mike, um that somebody was like frustrated and then we were like in a mall and somebody was knocking off like, you know, the sconces that they have with like lights in the mall, like when you're walking through the mall, somebody was knocking them off and then they showed exposed wires. So that let me know that somebody was messing with the electrical as well. Like it said, terrorist, okay? Um, these people are, t uh, I feel like the senators are gonna be completely in shock at, at what is really going on with uh, judges and stuff letting these people back out on the street or just not even arresting them and it, it's over if i'm involved it's over you guys because i'm not going nowhere in case you forgot hold on i'm not sure why this one dude michael is, isn't arrested yet uh hold on yeah i don't know if, well i get we'll just see we'll just see I'm, I'm always like mind blown when someone has uh, warrants and is set up that it was, you know, they shouldn't leave and come back. They should just be arrested, you know. But I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe they have a different, maybe the detectives have a different plan. Let's just see. Artist. All right. This could be, I mean, this would be like, I feel like this is uh, for those of you who are awakened. Okay, some somebody may actually be an artist, or they may good at be, be good at like painting or drawing or something like that. Somebody could have red hair, long red hair. Uh, but this would be some. It says inspiring others to see life symbolically. So this would be waking people up. This would be somebody that tells people about the messages and symbols and stuff that you get from another realm in this one. So let's pull on this. All right, clear that for me, spirit. All right, what is this? Tell me what this is. A body can withstand the fall from eight stories. So somebody's like uh, unbreakable, like made of rubber, it seems like, I guess, right? Made of rubber. You could definitely be like a mother, but in the upright, like a, a loving, nurturing mother, because we know it's a verb. It's not a noun. But this could definitely be a con artist too, though. I mean, I always want to say, I always want to go for the positive message. But, you know, when you're speaking truth, especially about the world that we're in, um, I always appreciate it when I first had my awakening, those channels where it was like Reiki and then, then you know, I don't know, like the, the calm spoken ones, I guess. And then I just realized I, that I, it never felt comfortable with me. I guess it is for some people, chocolate and vanilla, right? So... Um, I just didn't feel comfortable with that. I felt like I was, I was more of like a warrior type, like ready for war that that was, that's what I was built for. And I realized this is why, because of the shit that I'm exposing and dealing with. So, um, I don't know. I just feel like those people are going to be good for a certain level of ascension. But when it comes to survival, the killer be killed shit that we talk about here shit like this is what you're gonna need okay protecting like those those people who connect you with your guides and send you energy through the thing that's fine that's great and all because their intention is pure but when it comes to like hacking uh gang stalking when it comes to trafficking and stuff that shit's not gonna matter it's really not gonna matter four three i'm not trying to be like ignorant but just we just keep it real and i want to hear i want to ask something the light edge. No, it's not. Clear that. This is three con artists or three people that thought that they could con somebody. I'm going to get letters. Ugh, somebody's still trying to con or feel like they, you know, they can con another person or uh, a two people or 
the dingbatism just never stops, it seems like. Tell me about uh, these people, please. Give me some letters for these people, please. M. M. K. This could also be MK Ultra. All right, mind control. And this is Zach. Oh, YouTube. Okay, M, K, and Y. Somebody may want to thank you because you woke them up to the fact that they were being conned as well. Somebody, you woke somebody up to the fact that they were around a con artist too. But this, somebody could actually, I don't know if somebody works for YouTube. Every time I see YT, hold on. Yeah, okay. Okay. Somebody works for YouTube. Oh, okay. Nick, is that you? Do you work for YouTube, buddy? Somebody does. Let's see what MKY is. Mikey, I also see. Mikey, that could be the dingbat. Mikey, you know who you are, Mikey. Um, let me make this last the uh, thing I made about my dream public because it's ready. My life is over. Somebody's life is over. I see Gary, Gail. All right, let's just get into it. MKY. Scary voice. Somebody could have a scary voice. Uh, it don't matter, right? It takes a lot to scare those of us who know that we are gods and goddesses incarnate and that we are the most powerful beings ever. It takes a, a whole lot to put fear into us. A whole lot. MKY. He can't even get up to punish her. So there may be some dudes that, that, that aren't able to punish a female the way that they thought they were going to be able to punish her. Somebody could be wanting to thank you for warning them about somebody that they were in a relationship with. This could be like an addict that wants to thank you for waking them up. What's up, Grandma? Let me see. What is this? MKY. When a person texting was trying to say MK isn't okay, who cares about that? Let's see. MKY. I don't really see many. Let me see what this is. Um, slang? Oh, I'm not going to look too much on this. It could just be MK. MK. Oh, I say that. It's funny. It took me a while because I literally just woke up. Look at that. Is that what you guys are saying? MK. Because that's what I say. Okay. Okay. So somebody may want to thank me for waking them up to the fact that they were with a con artist. You're welcome, darling. Um, but this is like, uh, let's get some more cards on this. All right. Because I just feel like there's another message. You are very welcome. And for any females that I have woken up to the fact that there are these men that are con artists, even for you men that I've woken up because of some of you have been around females that have been in the same type of energy as these dudes for you guys. So any dudes that I have woken up or, or females, you are so, this is my job. This is why I'm here is to wake you guys up because it, the, the opportunist energy went from just being an opportunist so that they can get like your money or sleep at your home or use your car to now. Oh, and I wanted to say this out loud. Thank you for reminding me, Spirit Realm. For Senator Josh Hawley, I honestly think that life insurance policies became just a contract on somebody's head. Because 90% of the time, they're either forged and they're not legit, or a family member or somebody tries to take what is left to somebody. It basically like puts a price tag on somebody's life. And I feel like there should be like a, a bill where it's like getting rid of all life insurance. Like let people, it, it kind of makes people lazy because now some people just sit around like, like pieces of lazy trash just waiting on somebody to die. And, and it lessens the value on somebody's life. I think that it should be done away with. We don't need that. It's, it, 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 it's almost like you, you wait for now someone to die and you don't appreciate the mother here. 
10 minutes exactly because all you do is wait to get this money yeah i feel like they're they're gonna do that they're gonna get i, I you know what I, I guarantee you you get rid of life insurance and life insurance companies and you will get rid of a lot of this other shit that comes with it to get this money all right all right let's keep going mm -hmm. Tell me about this. Ask. Maybe somebody needs to ask somebody. Were you setting me up? Was I your next victim? Ask. Ask. Uh, somebody needs to ask somebody something. Did you drug me? Hmm? Lifetimes of bad karma. Maybe somebody needs to ask. Let me find out what it is. Ask. Ask. Did you steal from me? Were you going to do this to me? Because when someone's being uh, questioned, these people, because they're, they're always narcissists to do this shit. These con artists are always narcissists, and they can never look you in the face when they're answering, when they're caught for something. This is why, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're around these people, and like say you're at a family dysfunction or just any kind of like outing, and they wind up getting called out for something, one, 11, 11, the second that they get called out, you are now their target. They will destroy you. But... They will act like they got a text message, a phone call. They'll act like they're sick. Oh, God, I feel nauseous because they can't look you in the face. They, they, they lie about everything. So ask. Maybe someone needs to ask somebody. Um, ask what? Ask. Tell me about ask. Um, hold on. No, 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 no. Too many. Just one. What should we do to stop them? Okay. Ask. Royal Fortune. This is karma, though. You should just go to, like, the cops and say... Somebody may be in the encouraged to go to the police and say something that they know. Clear that. Did you steal from me? That's what this is. Knight of Pentacles. For me, that's that, that's stealing. Surrender their license. Somebody needs to surrender to something, but somebody needs to ask somebody a question. Engineer, that's consequence, but that's also engineering, creating a situation. Did you create this whole thing? Somebody needs to ask and go, did you set this whole thing up? Like, did, like were you conning me the whole time? I don't know. Somebody didn't ask that question yet. I feel like you do. You need to just, just ask. What, 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 what are they going to do? If they're caught, they're caught. At least what will what, happen is you'll see the reaction that they have. You'll see how they react, whether they look in the eye or they get uncomfortable. And you'll be able now to like gauge that for now when people do this in the future. You'll be able to spot a liar. Tell me about engineering. This is consequence for somebody. This is karma for somebody for being loyal to this, to this manipulator. Scorpio energy. There's some kind of message. Um, this is also somebody realizing now. Huh? What are they realizing? That there's a message that came out or some news that came out where somebody's realizing, oh, life insurance. Maybe somebody needs to ask. <coughs> Hold on. He's panicking. Okay. Maybe you need to ask this person. Did you have a life insurance policy on the truth at the bottom? Ask. You have a mouth for a reason. You know what I mean? I know a lot of men like to think that we just have it for certain reasons, and that is not true, sir. And I'm giving you a lot by calling you, sir. Yep. Somebody's going to wind up asking and actually having the balls to say, did you do this? You know? Because, like, if it was me, I mean, I don't have a problem speaking at all. This is why I'm a master speaker. This is why people want to shut me up. You'll never shut me up. Never. I'm going to say it again, okay? Rich is only here. This is why the property went to shit. He wasn't here to manage the property. He was here because he was my initial hitman, okay? And now he's having a hard time getting to me because I'm, you know, you know who I am and what I'm about. So he's constantly using other people. So, like, for the corporate, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe there's something I don't know that's happening behind the scenes, but I'm saying is... I feel like I've, I've, I've shown enough loyalty to this place that didn't show it back, all right? 
I go out of my way not to mention the actual name, even though I feel like a couple times the card may have been in the mirror, but I go out of my way not to say that out of respect, right? And I know that you guys have done things to protect me as well. I know that. Him being here, the only he, the only reason he is here, I promise you this, 1515, 15, is the fact that he needs to have me gone, okay? So you would just be like helping in that, I guess. Like the, the, he's, he's not worth a shit as a worker. He's a, he's a, a serial killer. And he's a rapist. And he's a hitman. He's not even here illegally. So it's like, technically, he's he's here illegally and, and running a property just to get to me. All right, we're going to keep going. Tell me, give me one of these, please. Thank you. Driven to a different town to buy condoms. I don't know. I hope you didn't sleep with this person. Why? Why would you drive to a different town? Maybe, I, I guess, somebody slept with somebody. Or is it... Protective wire. Somebody has an STD too. They need to ask this person if, if he or she has an STD. Okay, hold on. Uh, somebody's got hepatitis. I feel like somebody, um, if you didn't sleep with this person, you're going to be real glad that you didn't. M-K-Y-V-Z-T. Somebody came for a warrior. Look, jealous of divine feminine. Whoever this is, they're jealous of a female. It's his nature. This is someone's nature to do this, to set up people, to con them, to lie, to triangulate them, to turn them against another person. This is the type of person um, with the three of cups where <laughs> that he's always, this person always has to have flying monkeys. This room, this is like giving me like narcissists and they're flying monkeys, right? Because some of you guys, 17 all, you guys don't know about narcissism and they're flying monkeys, which are like, they, they were actually in um, the Wizard of Oz. The flying monkeys, they represented the minions for the narcissists. Yeah, they do their dirty work. Don't become a flying monkey because the flying monkeys always go down when the narcissist fails. Tell me about this driven to a different town to buy condoms. If you didn't sleep with this person yet, please don't do it. Damsel, they prey on women that they think are damsels in distress. Yep. Somebody thought that a divine feminine was a damsel in distress. These are the types of guys that pick women that they think need rescuing. Like I said, women that may not talk to their families or their fathers. They pay attention as to whether they have a lot of male presence in their life because they're predators and you're pussies. Yeah, you are. And, uh, and then this, these are usually the women that they prey on to do these uh, life insurance scams and everything like that. It's usually addicts or prostitutes and stuff like that because, I don't know, for some reason these toxic dudes think that their life isn't worth shit. No, your life's not worth shit when you're doing this. Let's get that straight, partner. Your life isn't worth shit when you're preying on women like this. A lot of these dudes, they're actually fathers. Some of these dudes are grandfathers and they're still doing this to women. You are the ones that should be thrown in a gas chamber. Let, let's recreate that shit with the right people this time, though, huh? Tell me about this uh, damsel... This damsel waiting for a night to provide for you. So that's what it is. There's somebody who is actually codependent. This could be a drug addiction, alcohol addiction. It was all different. For me, I needed a place to live. I was getting sober off of meth. And I needed a place to live. And then somebody came who I thought was a friend of mine. I talk about this a few times for the people who are just now subscribing to my channel. This, this person looked like my friend, Mike. But he, he wasn't my friend, Mike. He was something else, okay? And I talk about that as well, which is why the government's attacking me too. Looked just like him. Made a whole replica and shit. <laughs> uh, actually, that's how they get you. They will even go so far as to tell your family that you're suicidal or that you're crazy or that don't believe anything they tell you. They may tell you that they're being attacked. They may tell you someone's trying to kill them. They're crazy. They'll even have a dirty cop, dirty, dirty investigators go to your family, kind of like mine, and tell them that 
you're nuts or you're you're into trafficking and they're investigating you so you know don't respond don't reach out don't help this person or you will be in trouble right and this is how they get you and then there's a ten of pentacles life insurance <clears throat> tell me about this damsel this damsel in distress please yeah put your boundaries up with this person this person is a liar and a thief and a con and 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 worse, his dick is burning. <laughs> he got a whole burnt dick in his bitch. Tell me some more. Hmm. This is what it is too. Hold on a second. Why is this? Why is this Ace of Pentacles? Hold on a second. I, I need to ask because I know what card that is for me, and this is the only thing that would make sense. But hold on. Yeah, he's got somebody else pregnant. Oh wow! Someone's name could begin with the letter B. This person may not even know that they're pregnant with this dude's child. Put up your guard with this person. Someone else is pregnant. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles, man. Yeah, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I don't know if that's the one that needs to put her guard. Is he married? Or I don't know. This sounds like a dude that's got a lot of chicks, but I don't feel like he's good enough, like good looking enough to even have this shit. It must be something like drugs where he lures women or... Hold on. Deep, dark, sick sexual desires. That's what it feels like. Like a nasty fucking sexual predator. Uh, whose, whose bird is toxic as shit. The government is after them. Did you just hear that? Alright. Well, that's that. Hold on a second. Hold on. So this dude is married, but he's got another woman pregnant. Yo, this shit, uh, yeah, he's married, but then he's got the harem garage. Uh, for those of you, uh, women and men who know about the harem garages, women and men both do this shit. They got all the pieces on the side for everybody's got something they need. So they got their whole life in order. Not though, but in their eyes of an opportunist, they do like this one has the car. This one takes me on trips. This one lets me crash whenever I want to. I can come raid this one's fridge. This one's got the drugs, the money, the credit. It, it, this is how they live, opportunists. So please, please, like, please don't sleep with this person is all I can say. They're dirty in, in every aspect. They're dirty. He is not locked in his room. Somebody may be locked in a room or have themselves locked in a room. Tell me about this. Lied and said that you gave them an STD. Okay. Let me get a letter for this. This could be for whoever they're with. They could have lied and said. T tell me who they said gave an STD. Dangerous vengeance. Who, who is this? Tell me who they said gave it to them. Tell me, tell me about this, please. I rented a room, motherfucker. Somebody could have rented a hotel room. W or P. This ain't a first chicken. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Oh boy. Tell me there's two chicks involved with this. This is a setup. We know this isn't safe, but this is a setup. I feel like there's there could be two women with this dude that are realizing that this was a setup. <laughs> w or P, someone's name could begin with. And they lied and said that you gave them an STD to somebody else. I don't know, man. This is so, this shit is so like Jerry Springer or Maury Povich. I don't know how, but that's why, man. I'm telling you, he preys on women, damsels in distress. 
Okay, we've all been there at some point. But this is when the predators, this is when the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. So he's got an STD. Please don't sleep with him. Somebody could have thought they were going to have a threesome with these two. Um, please don't. This person, ask. this. You need to ask this person. You got an STD? Well, he may not. He's not going to admit that. Ask him. Have you killed people? Ask him. You feel me? Ask him whatever it is, man. Like, you have all the power in this situation. 25-25, these girls have all the power in this situation. This dude, just a little punk sitting there with his little dangling. that ain't nobody want to touch because they got smoke coming off the tip. Tell me, tell me more about this. Yeah, the perfect man. Look at this shit. Somebody thought this dude comes off as the perfect man. Ugh. 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 Nah. You need to get away from this person can't get out of the hole that they put themselves in so they're going to take you down in this hole all right is that what you want hmm? please 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 because i feel like somebody's life look opportunist somebody's life may depend on this shit tesla what's up with the tesla unless that wasn't supposed to come out hold on hold on somebody drives a tesla okay this is the shit bag. Whoever drives the Tesla is a piece of trash. I guess maybe somebody was wondering, uh, is it him? That's going to be your confirmation. Yeah, he's a piece of trash. He, he's, he's a murderer. Somebody else is making history here. Look, no, they didn't. I feel like somebody's going, oh, no, they didn't. Yes, he did. He absolutely did. Dogs, dogs. Yeah, this person is a dog. Uh, like this is past dog, though. This is somebody I'm telling you that that is involved with this shit, with the life insurance stuff. And 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 every woman that comes into this guy's path is is a possible uh, target for this shit. But look, that's what this is too. Like a target. Everybody, you know what I mean? Please don't. This is for. I'm not. I'm gonna, I don't know why I have to keep saying this. I don't know why I have to keep saying this, but. Maybe women just don't realize it's what they're doing. You're supposed to be on the side of other women. You know what I mean? Because if you were if you were the person on the other side of this, because I'm guessing that there was a perceived target that's actually a good person, like a loyal person, right? How would you feel if there were women helping facilitate some dirty shit against you? Like, answer it honestly. Because if, if you were honest with yourself, you wouldn't be able to look at yourself because of it. You know what I mean? You you would be pissed off. If you found out somebody was doing this, you, the, the words out of your mouth would be, how could you do this to me as a woman? As a, as a woman to a woman. It's the same shit for you. You know what I mean? Tell me, tell me about this, please. Today's to-dos. Don't complain about shit. Take full responsibility for everything in your life. Be grateful tonight. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at this shit. With her looking in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror. See how hot you are for yourself. Be grateful for your bad self. You consider yourselves lucky. I feel like there's two chicks that got lucky because of this shit. Consider yourselves lucky that you didn't sleep with this friggin' cesspool. Uh, this... Got a friggin' Terminator dick. Please, uh, get away. Uh, if you're drinking with this person, this person is, there's nothing but karma that comes with this person. When this lifetime's of bad karma comes out, this person has done this every lifetime and they're gonna keep incarnating here until they get it right and clear out their karma. It's just spiritual law, universal law. This is why the Matrix doesn't teach us about this because they want all of us stuck here. You have to clear out your karma. And when you come and do dirty shit to somebody who already went through that shit, lost everything, and is rebuilding their life, they don't want to be attacked the same way that you wouldn't want to be attacked when you were doing that shit. So maybe some people need to start putting the shoe on the other foot and saying, like, if I was this person and I lost everything... Or maybe they don't know your story. But I guess the question is, why does it have to come down to where you know someone's story before you realize, like, I wouldn't want to be treated this way. I wouldn't appreciate this done to me. So why am I doing this to somebody else? Especially if these women are mothers. You know, it's, 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 it's got to be drugs. It has to be drugs. So um, please stop letting these drugs put you in situations you're not going to be able to get out of. Stop letting these drugs make you make decisions that are or forced they're not making you you're still making it but kind of put you in situations where you kind of feel like you have to you have to do something that's like against all your morals what could possibly happen here um 
a lot, a lot could possibly happen in this situation. I feel like some people got real lucky and it wasn't supposed to be like that. Nissan, somebody could drive a Nissan in this situation. Be the drug dealer and blamed it on you. Is this the same person? So whoever drives the Nissan, Jesus Christ, shit just gets worse and worse. Hold on. Get out of here, little rabbit. Yeah, get out of here. I feel like they should have been gone by now. Pull that from your spirit. Whoever has the Nissan, this punk beat a drug dealer and put it on you. So this is the same time. Yo, I'm so tired of these people. And you'll have females protecting these dudes, right? And the whole time behind your back, like he set you up to be murdered, <laughs> putting shit in your drinks and stealing from your purse beating drug dealers and putting it on you and you have no idea. Next thing you know, you got people wanting to take your life. Come on, man. Stay, for women, just stay away from dudes right now. I'm telling you, just stay away from them. There's toxic females, but I, you know, from, this has been, my story has been factual. It is so many more men than women. Stay single. Work, work on yourself. Fix yourselves. Because you're going to wind up dead in this type of situation. Look, can't change a fucking tire. This, this dude can't even change a tire? Huh? But I'll tell you what. He can definitely blame someone else for the shit he did. I mean, I feel like that's natural for you, bro. That's natural. Can't even, you can't, nobody wants to be with a dude that can't even change a tire. You know, it says a lot about you. Like, you you either spoiled or you don't feel entitled and whatever. What is this? Who is she as an animal? Hold on a second. Is he with an animal too? Is there one chick there out of, the, out of these three that's actually good and the other ones aren't? Clear that for me, Spirit. Is one of the chicks in this situation an animal too? Okay, okay. Whoever's name begins with the letter W, you're an animal bitch and I guess this is... So there could be one person... That maybe was a target in this situation. And it could be the one whose name began with one of those first three letters. Anorexic. Somebody anorexic. They could be losing a lot of weight or they're not eating. Hold on a second. I want to ask something here. If they're doing spell work, they could be doing spell work on this other chick. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Two of them are trash. One of them is actually a target of these two. One of them needs to get away. You know which one you are. You got a wannabe Bonnie and Clyde in this shit. Neighbors living for free again? Really? Again? Dementia, somebody gonna forget, right? This is the type of person it's like. They could be doing skull work to make you forget shit too. This is crazy, I'll say. Hold on. No. They're doing a lot of spell work on you, darling. Whoever this bitch is that you're near is disgusting. Yeah. They're meant for each other, these other two. They're not paying? Hold on a second. Hold on. Again, they're not paying? Clear that for me, Spirit. Do the owners know that? I'm telling you, man. Yo, you got to get rid of somebody. I feel like this is kind of like the universe going for the, for the owners. Owner, owner. This, you see this consistency in this, right? You get rid of this person, you get rid of all of these problems. This person is the problem. This, this, this person who's running this or saying that they are, they are the cancer in this situation. Until that you guys remove that person or, or do what, you know, this, this whole shit is just, I mean, what do you want? You want somebody to die on this property and then it's like now all kinds of attention and shit like that. Again, people are living for free. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that. There's somebody that needs to remove themselves from a situation. I mean like stat, okay? I don't mean like, is it me? Is it me? You know if you're around two pieces of trash and you know their responses, right? Ask them some shit. Let's find out. What, does somebody need to ask or just, just go? Clear that for me, spirit. 
does somebody need to ask questions about whether it was a setup for them? Yeah, ask. Clear that for me. Does it even matter at this point? No. You just, you just need to go and stay gone and consider yourself lucky because there was another reason for this. Another reason for this. It, it was a complete setup. Just go. You know what I mean? And, and thank the universe for protecting you from these two animals. Nowhere. Love you, Philly Al.